Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and I'm going to show you how to install the eTrailer Class 3 2-inch hitch receiver on our 2023 Nissan Rogue. Now the Nissan Rogue is already a very versatile vehicle to do many different things with um, and adding a trailer hitch receiver to your Nissan Rogue is going to make it that much more versatile. Um, with the two inch by two inch hitch receiver tube opening, uh, it's gonna give you a lot more options for accessories rather than a uh, inch and a quarter hitch receiver. Um, the e-trailer hitch is gonna have this nice, tough black powder coat finish um, to resist rust and corrosion. The safety chain loops are going to be an oval style safety chain loop to accept many different size uh, hooks for whatever small trailers that you wanna tow. And again, that two inch by two inch hitch receiver is going to be great for any bike racks, cargo carriers that you might wanna take on your trips. Your weight capacities for this hitch are going to be 525 pounds of max tongue weight, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. And your max gross trailer weight rating, which is the trailer plus the load included, is gonna be 3,500 pounds. A few measurements for you guys so you know what you're getting. From the center of the hitchman hole to the outside of our bumper here, it's gonna be about six inches. And then from the ground, to the top inside of the receiver tube is about 12 inches. So when you're looking for those accessories, you could get away with a small rise, but if you can find one that has a larger rise, that's definitely gonna help you. As far as the installation goes, it's gonna be very easy to get this hitch installed. There's four weld nuts on the frame that you're just gonna to have to thread the included bolts and washers in place on. Um, and because the Nissan Rogue sits high enough off the ground, you can do it from the ground. Um, but because we have lifts, we're gonna go ahead and pull it into the shop now, get it on the lift and show you how to do it. To start off our installation, we need to remove these two pushpin fasteners on the rear of the bumper here. Um, this is gonna give us more space to be able to get the cross member of our hitch up and behind our bumper. So you can use a flathead screwdriver, pop the center out, and then pop the rest of it out. Depending on the age of the vehicle, you may have to clean out our weld nuts. And the ones we're gonna be using are gonna be on the side of our frame, which is the furthest one forward and most rearward. We're just gonna use a little bit of silicone in there and a tube brush like this and um, to clean them out. Because even if the car is brand new, uh, like ours is here, you can still get some road grime in there and it's gonna cause some issues with your, uh, get your bolts in place. Now with an extra set of hands, we can lift our hitch right up into place. Now all we need to do is torque our hardware to the specifications and the instructions. We do have torque wrenches on our website if you don't already have one. Last thing we have to do to wrap up our insulation is replace our pushpin fasteners. Um, and honestly, I don't think we would have had to remove these in the first place uh, because we seem to have had more than enough room but on the uh, error on the side of caution, you might just wanna go ahead and pop them out uh, just to be safe. Well guys, that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video was helpful for you to get your e-trailer hitch installed on your 2023 Nissan Rogue.